bow, craggy knob which swims upon the ocean, receive this weary penitent. Uh, I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> that was like a little excerpt. Uh, I probably don't. I probably haven't done it justice. It was from uh, Doctor Who, and particularly the Colin Baker uh, Doctor Who, and it was his actually first episode as Doctor Who, which was entitled "The Twin Dilemma." And uh, yeah, in that episode, the uh, the Doctor had just regenerated, and there was a little something wrong with it, with the regeneration process. <clears throat> um, that was a yeah, that was a good episode. Anyways, I don't really have a purpose for this video. I'm just kind of talking, you know. And uh, I mean, in many ways, that's like a uh, uh, lot of uh, videos. I'm not saying all, but just a lot of videos on YouTube. They don't really have a purpose. Um, even though there's, uh, you know, a lot of, um, many cool videos on YouTube, you know, whether to just give them or just uh, people sharing their stories. But, you know, most videos don't really have a purpose. So, uh, yeah, that's what this is, you know. Uh... I'm just out of work right now, <laughs> kind of bored at home, uh, trying to do things, um, going through my recovery process. Um, I had uh, open heart surgery, and uh, which, you know, recovering pretty well. <laughs> um, anyways, and I uh, just wanted something something to do <laughs> so I suppose you know just make this uh, YouTube video that really uh, doesn't mean anything and this is actually also the first time that I'm actually recording it from the webcam even though this webcam I have it's a regular camera and uh, you know looking at the uh, little uh, screen on YouTube it doesn't appear that my uh, lips are going to be in sync with the audio. So I have, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. <laughs> according to my camera, you know, everything's in sync. But according to YouTube, it's not. So, I don't know. should be interesting to see how it turns out. Um, I suppose I will do a poem. I had just written this poem and, you know, I've been trying to come up with a different way to write. You know, I've just been listening to a lot of uh, songs lately and uh, taking tips from the, uh, um, how the lyrics are and uh, what I consider a good song and so, and I just want to come up with, you know, some poems that can be as popular as um, a lot of the songs out there and still have that lyrical quality. So, this is a poem that attempts to do that. I have no idea if I actually... Um, if I actually uh, accomplished that purpose. Uh, but I'm going to read this poem anyways. And uh, definitely would like to get some comments on this poem. If, uh, you know, do you like it? Is it a good poem? Um, any improvements that you can see on it? And uh, you could probably also do video comments too. Um, it's kind of scary. I've never done uh, video video comments, but you know, <laughs> if you feel so inclined. Uh, um, 
the title of this poem is Freedom Search. Freedom Search. I climb so high to look around as eagle sky to see what's found, seed in holy ground. What's seen with eye in our life's round, sacred tree of mine. Once in a time, weave a profound thought in life's rhyme, playing an old sound, drum on sacred ground. To know the mime of history's truth, the idea we found. I rise so high and looked around in earth's sky and heard the sound of drums sacred cry travel world around the soul of mine is at last free so uh, let me know what you think about that poem um, I don't know if I'm gonna go a full the full 10 minutes it's uh, six and a half minutes right now um, so, I don't know, I, uh, haven't also really written that much since I came out of the hospital. I mean, that, that poem I just read, that was probably the first poem that, um, I've written in weeks. I haven't even written any articles or anything like that. I tried. Uh, I don't know, maybe I was just, you know focusing on just um, recovering and uh, all that good stuff. Um, but I suppose we all get to points, you know, especially those of us who just create content and, you know, create things that we like to share with people um, that hopefully they enjoy. Um, but we get to, uh, you know, we get, we get points where, you know, we just don't feel like um, writing. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's writer's block or just, you know, I think, you know, we probably just need to do something different to shake things up, to shake the uh, creativity up. Because, I mean, after all, um, if we're not learning new things, what we've always written will always be what we've written. It'll just be different poems, you know. But they'll all be kind of the same. I don't know if that makes a whole lot of sense. <clears throat> so it's always good to uh, try new things, learn new things. Um, and, uh, I was just watching a show on, uh, Channel 11 last night, um, where, uh, you know, learning new things can actually stop the flow of, uh, you know, stop, uh, Alzheimer's and all those, uh, uh, abnormal aging processes, you know, can actually stop them. So, um, anyways, I guess this, uh, <laughs> video is going to be almost 10 minutes because it's just past the nine minute mark and I'm just going to wind it up here right now and uh, stay creative in the magic of life and uh, new thing <clears throat> the 603 <clears throat> yes I'm from the 603 if you want to know what that is just uh, do a YouTube search um, actually I think it's in my favorites the 603 is the title of it a song about what else? New Hampshire. Everything flows through New Hampshire. Anyways, stay creative in the magic of life. Thank you for watching. Ciao!